Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of estimating a parameter using maximum likelihood estimation. Let's be given n samples x1, x2, x3, up to xn. So in other words, we're in the complete data situation. I have complete data, not truncated or anything. It's complete data of a random variable and exponential random variable x. And this x is going to be exponentially distributed with parameter theta. Okay? And so what does that mean? That means our, we have a PDF, so x has PDF 1 over theta e to the negative x over theta for x greater than 0. Okay? That's the PDF of an exponential random variable with parameter theta. Let's find a max, let's use maximum likelihood estimation to estimate theta. Use MLE, maximum likelihood estimation, to estimate theta. Okay, so I have the PDFs, so I find the likelihood function by multiplying the PDFs. So my likelihood function L of theta is just going to be 1 over theta e to the negative x1 over theta times all the way down 1 over theta 1 over theta e to the negative x2 over theta all the way down to 1 over theta e to the negative xn over theta. That's my likelihood function. This is the likelihood function. And of course, we can simplify the likelihood function. This is going to be 1 over theta, so this will be equal to 1 over theta. There's n copies of this to the power n. And then all these exponentials will just be added up. So I have a 1 over theta with a negative sign, and then x1 plus x2 plus all the way down to xn. Now we can simplify that. That's exactly equal to 1 over theta to the n, and then e to the negative. Now this, of course, is n times x bar, n times the sample mean of those data points. So this is going to be negative n x bar over theta. And so now we're going to compute the log likelihood. So the log likelihood will help us solve the problem. So I'm going to define little l of theta. Little l of theta is the natural log of the likelihood function l of theta. So that's going to be the natural log of 1 over theta to the n times this exponential. n, that's going to be an n x bar. So I have an n and x bar over theta. And so now this is going to be equal to what? This is going to be equal to the log of the sum. So I'm going to have a negative n log of theta over here by properties of logarithms, because this is the theta is in the denominator. So this is really like a theta to the negative n. So I can pull it negative n out. And then I'm going to have the log of the exponential of this thing, so that log and the exponential are just going to cancel out for the second term. I'm just going to have a negative n x bar over theta, right? And now I know that in order to find the maximum of this likelihood function, the, the, the value of theta which maximizes the likelihood of a function, it's exactly the same as finding the value of theta which maximizes the log likelihood. That just follows from logarithmic differentiation. So let me compute L prime of theta. So what's L prime of theta going to be? Well, I'm going to have a negative 1 over an n, negative n over theta. That's the derivative of natural log. And then I'm going to have a positive n x bar over theta squared. And we set this equal to 0 to find the maximum value of this thing, set that equal to 0. And so what I get is I get that well, the n's are going to cancel. I'm going to have n over theta is equal to n x bar over theta squared. The n's cancel. And I'll throw this theta over there, and that tells me that theta, MLE, the maximum likelihood estimator for theta, in this case, is just x bar. So the sample mean is the maximum likelihood estimator for the exponential random variable. Technically, we should do the second derivative over here. What's the second derivative? Just to check. So second derivative, L double prime. So L double prime of theta is going to be what? That's going to be an n over theta squared. And then this thing is going to be a negative, negative 2, n x bar over theta cubed, and you'll be able to check, you can check that this is less than zero under the right circumstances, right? So in other words, we do in fact have a maximum over here. And so what we'll see 
is that the for the exponential random variable, our maximum likelihood estimation is just the sample mean. Thank you very much.